Welcome, I'm The Word Nerd, and in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you how to start a Christian bullet journal and talk about my 2022 Christian bullet journal setup. So let's dig deeper. The first thing about bullet journaling is understanding what it really is. Ryder Carroll is the creator of the bullet journal. I highly recommend checking out his videos. I'll have them linked below. And also this other video I found on YouTube that really explained uh, the bullet journal really well. So I'm going to try to do my best, but check out those videos. What is a bullet journal? So a bullet journal is a planner and a journal that is customizable. So a planner is something that provides a schedule and is used for planning activities, travel, and appointments. And then there's a journal, which is a record of experiences, ideas, and reflections. So for me, a bullet journal is really just a quicker way to plan and to journal. So let me explain. Bullet journal is all about rapid logging, getting everything out of your head and on paper. Rapid logging is logging or recording your day using symbols called bullets to differentiate the different thought categories. The simplest way is to have a key. So each bullet or symbol has a different meaning. So the easiest I have seen is three, which is the creator of the bullet journal uses. A dot for task, a circle for events, and a dash for notes. So using these bullets, you log and plan your day in short sentences. So that is the basics of bullet journal. The first step that you need to do when you want to start to bullet journal is to plan. What are your intentions? to use the bullet journal for. So for mine, to focus and remember things. Focus on what matters and also to remember things that I need to do because I forget. <laughs> A bullet journal is to fix what is broke and build what is needed. You're not always gonna know what that is when you first begin, but as you continue to bullet journal, plan and log your days, you'll find out habits that you have or find out what you really need through that. Next, supplies. Really, all you need is a random journal and a pen. That's pretty much it. For my bullet journal this year, I'm actually going to be doing a digital bullet journal. But like I said, all you really need is a journal and a pen to get started. But this is going to be my 2022 Christian bullet journal setup. And so I hope you enjoy and I hope you are inspired to start your journal journey. So like I said in the beginning, the first step is really for you to just plan. So I have been bullet journaling for a couple of years and it's, you know, evolved as time goes on, um, but I planned um, everything in advance as much as I could um, to get my symbols that I wanted, my bullets to be the ones that I wanted, any kind of collection um, that I wanted, which a collection is just a bunch of, of the same data or notes, and uh, so, you know, it's the same stuff put together and then I decided on my color theme you don't have to have to have a color theme I enjoy colors so I did a color theme it's gonna be a coffee color theme so coffee colors and I'll also add some digital stickers that I made from my kitchen curtains um, so but let's just jump in. So the first thing is I'm going to do divisions. So I started digital bullet journaling um, in 2021 around the time of September. And so I created the division. So this shows me what is half with my dot grid on my tablet. It shows me thirds, fourths, fifths, uh, sixths, sevenths. So whenever I want to create um another spread or another collection um, I can look at this really quickly and know how many dots and I don't have to recount a bajillion times every time I make a new spread um, so that's what this is so I just copied and pasted it 
and I'm labeling it. So with all these collections, I am creating a new note that I'm using Samsung notes. And so at this point I couldn't rem remember or I couldn't figure out why it wasn't showing it. Um, I figured it out near the end. So, so the next thing that I want to do is I always have a prayer of the year this year. It is, I give myself away so you can use me. This took me probably over an hour to hand letter on my tablet. Um, so I didn't want to do that on camera because it took me forever to do it. So I went ahead and done it ahead of this video um, so I could show you, but you know, not actually show you what I did, but so this is the prayer my prayer for 2022 i label it and save it and this is going to be that so then the next thing that i am going to do is um i'm going to do my key so your key like i said the simplest is three bullets um mine's a little bit more i think it will evolve the more that i do it um, but that's okay. Um, your bullet key can be complicated or simple. Um, if it's hard for you to continue to do it or you don't find yourself doing something, do it in a quicker way. Um, so if your key is not working for you, maybe you need to simplify it a little bit. So I have started really bullet journaling as the creator writer Kelly kind of said and so these are the bullets that i do use um i have since the making of this video i have already kind of edited my key um it's basically the same um but i just added like what does an arrow mean and when a task is completed i put that as well um and you can see it here as a picture so I'm just making my key so I wanted to make a calendar key as colors and then my daily logs key and then I decided that was too complicated since I'm continuing to pull a journal now and so I switched it to everything is the same so everything's going to be like the daily side as you can see here um, as you could see in the picture um, but this is what was my plan so don't be discouraged if your plan doesn't work out adapt that's not working so build what will work um it's not this is broken so fix what is broken so so that's my key and so i'm going to check mark or max it or whatever i'm going to check that i did that and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the word of the year. Again, you don't have to have this. I like to have a word of the year and my word of the year is focus. And I always, I'm the word nerd, so I always love definitions. So focus is to cause to be concentrated, to concentrate attention or effect, effort, I mean. And then concentrate is to bring or direct towards a common center or objective or to focus one's powers, efforts, or attentions. So that is what I hope to do this year is to really focus and concentrate on what I believe is the most important things in my life um god my ministry and my family um so i also continued the box around my key and my word of the year focus as i did in my prayer of the year but i didn't do that until after the fact i'm like why do these look different oh that's because i forgot so um so the next thing is the future log. So this is what you really do need in a bullet journal is a future log. Um, so the future log is where you keep future logs, appointments, 
a tasks that you want to remember to do. Um, and so this is kind of essential to the bullet journal. Mine is really simple. It, this PDF came with Samsung Notes, um, one of its latest updates. So I just decided to use that. I'm just adding my color theme to it. Um, but it's the same. So it's all 12 months with a box. And so I'm going to write my future appointments or tasks that I need to do during that month. And um, so because for the bullet journal, you have a future log, monthly log, and then you have your dailies. So this is my future log. Really simple, but it works. So the um, next thing that I'm going to be doing is a few of my collections. So I have two. Um, my Bible Tracker collection and also my YouTube collection which is all my YouTube uploads. And then my Bible Tracker which is here is I'm going to track when I study, when I just read the Bible, or if I do both in a day. So this is a free PDF I got offline. Uh, calendarpedia.com or something they have a lot of really awesome free pdfs so the different colors will be able to show me which i do um, or both and then the youtube tracker is a little bit different but kind of looks the same it's from the same place um, and i just write down the days that i upload I, it's been a while since I've uploaded recently because life has been crazy. Um, but those are those. I used my um, color theme and now I am going to add my stickers and I'm going to delete my plan because I don't need that. So I'm going to use the stickers that I created and just kind of put them wherever I think that are nice. Um, these stickers were in one of my um, last digital bullet journal videos. Um, but if I can find the link, I will link it in the description that you can use them as well. Um, they're free. I created them. Like I said, I took pictures of my curtains and then I created um, them on my tablet. So they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. So that pretty much sums up my 2022 Christian bullet journal. Um, I have my prayer, my word I want to focus on. So my prayer of the year, I have my key that I have already changed. <laughs> and as you can see, and then I have my word of the year focus and then I have my future log and then the divisions I think everyone should do this if they use a dot grid journal and then my YouTube upload log tracker thing and my Bible tracker for when I read study so yeah and then you can already see that I am already starting to plan my January setup. So there it is. I have a folder for 2022. Um, so let's go back to 2021. And this is my November setup. I did not make a video for it. Um, but this was my November setup. So you can see that I'm doing a lot of dailies and notes and things. And yeah. So I hope you are encouraged and inspired to journal your journey with God and I will see you in the next one guys. Remember God loves you and he always with you and yeah, God bless.